Hangout. We're glad that you guys could join us tonight. Um, Emily Kramer is our admissions counselor, and she will be in chat. So um, make sure you answer or you type in any questions, and uh, and she'd be glad to answer those for you. So today we have Dr. Mike Anders here. Hey. So um, why don't we start with you? Oh, actually, I do want to back up and tell people that um, if they want to tweet their questions as well, they can do that at you Findley, and the hashtag is Ash. Ask UF, so feel free to use that or um, ask your questions in the chat window. So take it away, Mike. Hey, welcome. I uh, hope we can get some questions from you. Uh, what should I talk about first? You mean to talk about the program? I mean, just what we have to offer, or we have so many different music. We have a programs, lot of so... different music programs, and if you're interested in music at the University of Finley, we have marching band, we have concert band, jazz band, orchestra the Concert Chorale, and University Singers, which is our show group. And then we also have musical programs that come And we have, oh program. yes, well we go with the theater program. The theater program does four shows a year, and one of those is the musical production, which is always a big deal, and both these people have been involved with that, and um, it's pretty exciting stuff. What can students expect from any of their programs? <laughs> to first to work their butts off. No, we have a good time. We have a really good time with the music program at the University of Finley. And one of the greatest things about our program is you don't have to be a music major to be involved. In fact, the University of Finley doesn't even have a music major, and our programs are completely staffed with students from other majors. And I mean majors from all over campus, from equestrian to pre-vet to pharmacy to occupational therapy, to education. Uh, we're all over the place. So anybody can be a part of this. It's just a really good time. What about on scholarship opportunities? Everybody that's involved with the major ensembles at the University of Finley receive participation scholarships. Uh, if it's the concert chorale, just enrolling in choir, you get a $500 scholarship. And then if you want to audition for our show group, University Singers, and you get in, that's an extra thousand dollars that's added to that 500 and we also help students if you're interested in taking voice lessons or piano lessons or trombone lessons or whatever uh, you we help we help you with uh, paying the extra fees that are involved with that too why don't you introduce the students that we have well them? I have immediately to my left Elizabeth Niss Hi. and uh, she is an occupational therapy major from Findlay Ohio and she's very involved with the choir and university singers and she's been in the last couple of musicals yeah. we've done and next to her is Mr. Mitch Augenstein who's from Waldo Steve. Ohio <laughs> Augenstein Augenstein we just had this conversation and what do I do I mess up the last name Mitch Augustine from Waldo, Ohio, and he's an education major, and he's also in the concert chorale and university singers, and he was just <laughs> featured in one of the lead roles in A Funny Thing Happened with the Forum. He was hero, sweet little innocent boy, not typecast. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, why don't we start with you, Elizabeth, why don't you tell us some of the things that you've got to enjoy. Sure. Um, I've been in the concert crowd the past two years, all semesters. Um, I've been in university singers the past two years, um, both the musicals, like Dr. Andrews said, um, and I even took voice lessons my first semester here at Finley. Um, I really enjoy all of them because um, I've enjoyed music my whole life, so they're great programs to be involved with. And what about you, Mitch? Well, uh, my name is Mitch, yes. I am a junior. Augenstein. Augenstein, <laughs> not Stein. Um, this is my third year here at the university, so, and this is actually my fifth semester in choir and my uh, first full year in show choir, which I really enjoyed. Um, I did the musical last year and this year, and it was just an outstanding time. Uh, I'm involved in a ton of different activities, and music stuff is always my favorite because it's just it's a nice escape from the reality of academics, and so I think we always have fun, whatever oh. we do. I think that's one of the big selling points here. Here's your chance for three hours a week to not study chemistry yeah. or to not <laughs> worry about other classes. You can just turn it off for three hours and sing and have a good time and relax, but you still get work done. Absolutely. So what about um, the flexibility? Um, Tell us a little bit about what majors you're in, and you know, how does this fit into 
what you're trying to study? Yeah, um, I'm studying occupational therapy, and I don't start the actual OT classes until fall of my junior year. So I've been doing a lot of gen ed type things and um, classes geared towards OT, but music has not been an issue with scheduling. You know, I have it during times that are most available for people. Um, like Dr. Anders said, it's like roughly three, three and a half hours a week for university singers and choir, so it doesn't take up too much of your time. Um, and they're, I mean, they're really great things to be involved with. They're fun, so I'm, I look forward to going to those things every week and get away That's from That's nice classes. to hear. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mitch? Uh, so I'm a middle childhood education major, which means I can teach fourth through ninth grade. Um, that also means that I take a lot of content-based classes, so I'm math and language arts. So I'm constantly in a full um, course load every semester, and what's nice about choir is that you can waive the overload. Um, if you don't really know about that, that just basically means that if you take more than the max amount, you usually have to pay for it. But it's nice that choir and show choir can both be waived in voice lessons as well, so that way you can still be involved in those things while you know drowning in other academic right. classes. You don't have to pay the extra added fees for being an overload, which is nice. And it's great to get extra scholarship money for doing things that you enjoy. Absolutely. And while we're talking scholarship, there are actually some additional scholarships uh, that are endowed scholarships. That's an entirely different program. And I think both you guys have some of those scholarships. Yep. And that's on top of the participation scholarships. So we do our best to take care of the students that are involved in things. If you're really active, you can probably average maybe seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars. Oh, try it again. <laughs> seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> missing something. <laughs> it, uh, that goes against your tuition, which is really, really cool. And then you add on that maybe five or six, seven hundred dollars in endowed scholarships per year. So if you multiply that times four, it gets up there. Yeah. I was going to ask you, Dr. Anders, how many um, different shows and presentations happen in in a full year? Oh. Too many. No. <laughs> the choir, the concert chorale does two concerts a year, one in the fall, around Christmas time, one in the spring. University Singers, our big concert is the family concert. And, uh, but we also perform off campus for various things and things on campus at times. We have something coming up in the next week or so where we're going to actually sing for the French ambassador, which is rather exciting on oui, campus. Wee oui. wee. Oui, oui. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's see. the. The, the band does, the marching band, of course, performs during the uh, mar uh, football season, and they perform for all the home games. Uh, the pep band pretty much does the spring semester with basketball. They probably do about 10 games a year. Jazz band does one or two concerts a year. Concert band, like choir, does two concerts a year. Uh, now, I take that back. The concert band does three concerts a year. They do one in December, one in February, and one in April, usually. Um, the reason we only do two choir concerts is because of the musical production, which is always in February. And most of the choir, a good portion of the choir at least, is usually involved with the musicals. I wanted to ask you too as well, um, are there any clubs or organizations on campus that you guys are involved with? Go ahead. Ladies first. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm involved in Star Club, which is Students for Alumni Relations, and our big time of year is in the fall around homecoming because we decorate for homecoming. We um, have things going on in the alumni house um, for the alumni to come back and visit um, and chat with each other. So that's it's a really fun group to be in. Um, and also we go to Kalahari around December, so right before the finals for the fall semester, we go to Kalahari, which is fun. It's a water park just about an hour away. Um, and <laughs> while, while Elizabeth is talking about <laughs> alumni stuff, her parents are both alums of the University of Finley. In fact, showing a little bit of age, uh, I had her parents as students. So it's really cool to have had mom and dad and then to have their daughter in choir, and she's a lot more fun than they are. <laughs> so, whoops, I didn't say that. They didn't hear. <laughs> They're not on this chat. <laughs> One more um, organization I recently joined this spring is Alpha Psi Omega, which is the theater fraternity here on campus. On campus, and it's a um, an honor fraternity. So it's not like the typical sorority fraternity would 
typically think of. Um, and I'm excited to be in that group because it's a great way to stay involved in the theater program even if I can't be in a show due to you know classes or other things going on. I can still keep up to date um, with what's going on in the theater program through that club and do things like sell flowers for the shows and be involved in other activities that aren't necessarily the show. Yeah, and if you're not even in the show, at least you can be in contact with some of your friends. Right, exactly. And since we have such a diverse population with majors, uh, many times the music program or the theater program is a way of getting in contact with your friends who may be taking classes that you never see during the daytime, you see them at night. Right, right. So, uh, and as for me, what, what clubs am I not involved with? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm in a, a variety of different things. Um, I'm the president of the Education Majors Club, which is basically a club that meets uh, twice a month and we have meetings for educational things. Um, I'm in two honors uh, societies, just like Elizabeth talked about, not the theater ones, but an education one and then a, an all-campus one. Um, and then, like Elizabeth, I'm also you know in choir and show choir, and then um, I'm also involved with Stride, which is an organization that helps with students with disabilities. So uh, it's just really nice to be involved in a variety of different things while still having time to do a lot of the fun stuff on the side too. What are some of the fun things that you guys do on campus? I mean, I know there's you know the organizations that you're involved with, but are there any activities? I know like we had a recent big concert that kind of a big deal around here. Um, just tell us about some of those things. Um, well, the concert was a couple months ago. It was the Plain White Tees. So having them on campus was a huge event, and a ton of students went. It was a lot of fun, because that's not something that we typically get to have here on campus. Um, and there's so many other activities going on all the time. Like, for instance, today, this evening, there was like cake decorating, cupcake decorating you could do. Um, last week, and eating. Yeah, and eating, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Last weekend there was a Gatsby themed dance on campus and it was Healthy Kids Day last weekend so they had a bunch of kids activities in the rec center. So there's always something going on, always something you can be involved in. Even if you're not in a club or organization, there's so many activities you can go to and other things you can learn about through that. And on top of that, I'm involved with a lot of the intramurals on campus when I have time. A lot of those take place in the evening. Uh, there's like dodgeball, volleyball, soccer, uh, basketball, uh, volleyball, all types of different things. So if you play sports in high school or even just want to try something new, it's really a great way to get involved and like meet new friends. Because um, even if you don't have a team of students, you can still put your name in there and then they will assign you to a team. So you get uh, to meet a lot of different people. So I enjoy that. And then as well as the Massey Museum, they often have a lot of yeah. events um, on Sundays. And that's a big museum for children's illustrations, uh, for children's books. And so for me, it's a really great opportunity as an educator because I get to interact with children's books and, and be with students on the weekends. So it's a lot of fun. And I want to say, point out too, quite often with our concerts and things, students like this are part of the entertainment on campus. Uh, with our family concert with the University Singers, two weeks ago we had a, a big choir concert, a piece called The Armed Man, a Mass for Peace, and that was very well attended and, and a lot of students are involved with that. So, uh, Mike, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what sets our music programs apart from other colleges. One of the greatest things about our music program, and I have a, you know, I have a PhD in music and all this kind of good stuff. In most colleges and universities, if they have a music major, students that are not music majors really don't get a chance to participate in the music program. And so at the University of Finley, it's a great place that if you want to be an occupational therapy major, or an education major, whatever, that you get a chance to participate in all these musical things like choir and band and orchestra and be a part of the musical theater. Um, without saying too much, my daughter attends a very fine school uh, that shall remain nameless that has a phenomenally good musical theater program and she's a musical theater major. Um, if Mitch or Elizabeth went to that school, they would not even have a chance to audition for the musical. So here at the University of Finley, they not only get a chance to audition, but they're part of it. And the same thing with choir and band and jazz band and this sort of stuff. And they're made up of primarily of non-music majors. And so you can pick whatever major you would like to do, whether it's English equestrian or Western equestrian, pre-vet, pharmacy, business, doesn't matter. You can be involved with the music program and the performing arts at the University of Finley. I wanted to ask our two students here, why did you guys choose the University of Finley? What stood out to you? 
I chose Finley. Um, I'm from Finley, so it's really close to home, which is something that I wanted to be. Um, they have a great OT program here. You can get your master's here in OT, which is what you need to be a practicing occupational therapist. So the fact that I could come here and stay through my master's, that was very appealing. All the scholarships that Finley offers are great. They're just fantastic. Um, I can't say anything more. We try. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a decent amount of money, and um, so that was a very big attraction to the school as well. Um, and also, Finley has just a great sense of community, and I feel at home at the school, so that's also a big plus. And building off of that, I instantly fell in love with the campus as soon as I came and visited. Uh, I initially came on a tennis scholarship, so I came for the uh, sports realm first. But then as soon as I came to the campus, I knew that it was somewhere that I wanted to be. It's nice that it's kind of in its own community, like Elizabeth said, but it's not just the college, whereas if you were to go to some schools, literally it's like the College of McDonald's, and that's all you got. <laughs> but here, um, you know, there's actually two sides to the town, so that's kind of cool. Um, and it's just, uh, like she said, it's a really great community-based school where you get to meet a lot of different people, but yet it's not overwhelmingly large. And so many times with what we do, uh, we really are a family. I mean, these I've been teaching for a long time, and <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are like my kids in a sort of weird way. Uh, at least they treat me like their parents. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the gray hair or what. But uh, we really do. We're a close bond of of students and faculty and to have I went to a large state school many years ago and never did I have the chance to sit down and pal around with a prof it just didn't happen and here we're the profs are very approachable for our students you get to know them uh, many times we have things at our houses for students so it, it really is they're like an extended family for us well I know something else that maybe you can expand on is uh, when you're putting together the, the presentations and all the different shows, how involved are every are everyone? That I know that didn't sound right. From from start to finish, I know like as far as collaboration for maybe set designs, lighting. Well, if you're doing a musical production, it's it's mammoth. I mean, we do a show and <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yeah. you know a show a show that might have 25 people in the cast. By the time you're done with it, you've probably involved about 100 people. So you may have 25 people on stage, but you've got maybe 10 people backstage or running lights. And then we have orchestras that play for us. You know, we're very fortunate at the University of Finley. When we do a musical production, we use a full orchestra. Even a lot of schools that have very large theater programs can't, do not have that luxury. So the fact that our students can actually sing with a live orchestra, not pre-recorded tracks or any of this sort of stuff, is a huge thing. But you add all these things up and you've got people working makeup and people working hair and people working costumes and setting lights and painting sets and designing sets. So we have students that actually uh, do the hands-on painting. We've had uh, one particular student, Zach, I'm thinking of, Zach Heiser, who's actually designed set a set for one of our main stage productions. Um, I wanted to ask you all too, what advice do you have for students that are looking to come to the University of Finley and pursue um, one of the music programs? Well first of all, get involved. <laughs> That's the big thing. Get involved with, get, with campus life, whether it's the music program or athletics or any of the number of clubs we have. We have a few Greek organizations. Get involved. That's the big thing. I would say step out of your comfort zone. I was nervous that I wouldn't be good enough for the music program, for instance, or that uh, that I wouldn't be accepted. Uh, but it's just really, it's just a great thing to kind of step out of your comfort zone and really kind of see who you are and see what you like and see what you can get involved with. So like he said, along with getting involved, don't be afraid to get involved right. because everyone's afraid when they first get here. All freshmen, whether they say it or not, are afraid to meet new people and afraid to, to do a change. I mean, it's a big step in your life. So I would just say that take that courageous step and actually do something. Well, I'll even go a step further with that. With the music program, we have students in my choir that have never done music in high school. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of stepping out of their comfort zone and they walked into a choir and they'd never really sung in high school before. That's a big deal and but they're welcomed, they get involved, we make it work. So we have yeah. a good time. And college is the time to do things that maybe you've never done before or to be super involved. So you don't want to regret not 
being involved in something. Um, so like these guys said, just step out of your comfort zone and get involved because it's a lot of fun here. We are here for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, as we wrap this up, um, the last question I always ask everybody, and I want to hear from all of you, what do you love about being an oiler? Well, first of all, look good in orange. But no, <laughs> um, you know, I, I've been at the University of Finley for 33 years, and I came to Finley, Finley College in those days to be here for maybe two or three years. And here I am all these years later. I still love it here. I love being engaged with my students. We have a good time. And I, I always tell my students, if you're not having a good time, if you're not enjoying yourself with whatever you're doing, try something else. And Finley's always changing. There's something going on literally day in, day out. And if you don't like something, mm, stick around a day or two. There'll probably be something else along the way. So again, for me, it's just the activities. It's working with wonderful students that I really do love and enjoy being around. For me, um, I love being an oiler, like I said earlier, because of the strong sense of community. Um, you can meet so many people by doing various different things. Even in your classes, you meet so many people, and you become close with your professors. Your professors really do care about how you're doing in their class and want to see you succeed. Um, you can walk down the sidewalks on campus and see it, probably at least five or ten people that you know and wave hi to. So it's just a great sense, <laughs> just a great sense of community and closeness here, and I love that. And I definitely love being an older because I can stretch myself to different things that I've never tried before. So, for instance. Uh, because I've been an oiler, I've gone to Boston to present my research. I've uh, been in a classroom where I've got to teach um, international students. I've been an ambassador for a South Korean student. I've made a bunch of different friends from all over the country. And it's just a great way to really, like he said uh, earlier, it's just a, a, com a community school that allows you to do a bunch of different things just because you're not in that specific major, in that specific path. And I think that's what I really like because I've, I feel like I've grown as a person rather than just as a, a student going to college. Many times you end up at a big school, and like I said, I went to a big state school a long time ago, and you end up knowing only the people in your small circle. Where here at the University of Finley, you end up to learn everybody across campus, whether they're international students. We had an international student perform on our choir concert this weekend from Saudi Arabia, of all places. Uh, you just have, your circle is so big, and it truly is a world circle. It's not this little isolated thing within one particular major. And that's, you know, it's part of the college experience. Definitely. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know some people showed up late, and that's okay, because we're, we're, we are recording the session. So um, we'll be emailing it out so you have the chance to um, maybe get your questions answered answered through the video, and if that doesn't work, um, definitely reach out to us in the admissions office, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So, Do you want to give them my contact information? You may. Yeah, if you have any questions about music or the performing arts at the University of Finley, feel free to contact me via email. It's Anders, that's A-N-D-E-R-S, just like it sounds, Anders at Findley.edu. And I'm addicted to email. These kids get emails from me at 2 in the morning, and I'm not exaggerating. So feel free to send me an email. You'll hear from me pretty quickly. Don't be surprised if I get right back to you. All right, thanks again. Thanks. Thank Elizabeth, you. would you do the honors on uh -huh. disconnecting?